husband was out with his friends at a stag party. I went out with one of his friend's mothers for my birthday for a few drinks because it was my birthday. And I got home. We only lived in this place for two weeks. And rushing to the bathroom, I didn't shut the door tight. Well, I came out of the bathroom and I had a telephone cord wrapped around me and then I was, a guy was starting to take my pants off. He had a, I don't know what you call them, a straight rate. My grandfather used to use one to shave his face, I remember that. And, uh, and then he just started slashing. My cat, crazy cat, came out of nowhere, attacked him, scratched his face up. I'm screaming, I, and then I don't remember, like, I don't remember at all. I remember screaming, I don't remember anything from there. Uh, my neighbors called the police. I'm thinking they called. I don't remember calling. I didn't really know the difference between what I learn now, good touches and bad touches. I thought it was just normal because my biological father said, oh no, it's alright if it's all right if daddy does this to you, daddy's your parent. Um, it first start, started off quite innocent, like a rub in the back here, um, touch in my neck, um, but then it started getting more serious to kissing my father, like my father getting me to kiss me and, and to touch him on his private areas and then later on it got to him touching me and he was always saying you can't tell mommy, you can't tell him your sisters, this has to all, this is our little secret, and I was daddy's little princess, I didn't know that it was wrong, I was only seven years old, you think your dad's this great thing and he can do no wrong. We've been dating for about two weeks. And he invited me out to his house. I thought his parents would be home. When we got there, they weren't. And so I was kind of weirded out by that, but didn't think much of it. He asked me if I wanted a massage, and I said no, because I knew where that kind of thing went, led to. And he asked me multiple times if I wanted a massage, so eventually I said yes. And then he told me that if I wanted a good massage, I had to take my shirt off. So I kind of, I, I don't know, I was 15, I, I did it, I took my shirt off. And then he started to pressure me for sex and I said no. And he asked me probably about 20 times, no exaggeration. And eventually I just said to myself, all my friends say the first time sucks anyway, so I might as well do it. Said yes, and he started, and he was really rough, so I said no, and he basically pretended he didn't hear me, and I just kept saying no with my hands over my face, covering my face, crying, and he just pulled me over to the side of the bed and did what he needed to do to finish, and then all of a sudden he could hear me again. school the next day and I couldn't stop crying and I wound up telling my principal. They kind of jumped to the conclusion that it happened because my dad was really abusive like my whole life and my school knew that and I was in and out of foster homes and stuff so they kind of just jumped to the conclusion of it and then I just said yes and then they called like I already had a social worker and everything so they called them and then I had to come pick them up and it was really nerve-wracking because my dad worked kind of for the school that I like he mm -hmm. came to the school all the time on his job so he was like, start like he was supposed to arrive like any minute when I was like in the office crying. So it was really hard. And then 
I got taken away and it was on my dad's birthday and my mom's birthday was the next day and then they had to call my mom and it was bad. <laughs> I've been in another long-term relationship I couldn't commit, and I'm out of my third. I really, really think that has a lot to do with it, and um, I had a very, very good job. I was, uh, IBM had asked to hire me and send me across North America training on computers for people, and I couldn't even do that. I started having my visits at 13 is when it started coming back to me and I just felt so hurt and resentful and it was affecting my everyday life going to school I secluded myself from my friends I came to the point where I couldn't live with myself and I did try to commit suicide and almost died I remember being in the hospital bed after taking a lot of my mother's pills. The doctor told my mother, your daughter has less than 15 minutes to live. Her heart's going to explode in her chest. And I realized then that I have to do something. I can't keep living like this. I can't keep punishing myself for something I had no control in. When I finally did tell my mom, she asked me if I wanted to press charges or anything, and I just didn't want, didn't want to cause trouble for myself because I was 15 and all my friends were his friends, and when you're in high school, that kind of thing really makes you an outcast. So I didn't, I just, I wanted people to know, but I didn't want to, like, I told people that he was dating and things like that just so that they would know, but I didn't, like, press charges or anything. I had one friend who believed me, which was really good, which is also strange because this one friend was his best friend before it happened, so maybe that's why he believed me, because he knew him better than anybody else, I don't know, but he was the only person that really believed me and stopped hanging around with him. My mom had to take care of him like for the first two months because he just looked so much like my dad. And it was so hard to sit there and look at him all the time. But it's a lot better now, so I don't look at him as my dad, I look at him as my son. So it was really hard at first. of some of this stuff that happened that I made wrong choices. I didn't know how to think of things and I went through a period where I did abuse drugs and I did drink and I went through a really hard time. But through help and counseling and different people I was able to move on and start to live healthier and I still go to counseling not just for this but because of all these things that have happened I didn't know what healthy and proper relationships were so I'm starting to learn those and I'm back to school and trying to move on with my life and give myself and my daughter a happy and healthy, stable home that I didn't have when I was a child. I'm supposed to be this big, strong feminist, so that kind of thing wouldn't happen to me because I'm not dumb enough to put myself into that situation, right? But um, that's kind of the more into feminism and human rights and all that kind of thing that I got, the more I felt empowered and kind of built myself up. And then once I told my mom, we got me some counseling and things like that too. It was really the feminism that helped. When I was a teenager, it really wasn't because, I, I, I don't know, 
I wasn't really honest with myself when I was a teen. As I got older, it I got more honest with the counselors and was able to open up more about what was really happening. And, and I knew myself better, so I found it really helped a lot more when I was in my 20s than I did when I was a teenager. I've gone to counseling in different like sexual abuse groups and I don't know like the girls that I went to that group with like I still keep in contact with them all the time and they're really good support I guess whenever I'm having a hard time with it so and there's another girl we just started being like I've known her for forever but we just started being friends and she like her stepdad actually did the same thing to her but hers was like really ongoing so she's been a really good support too and mm -hmm. she just had a baby and I was having a lot of issues when I was pregnant with it. So she was really good through all that too because she was kind of in the same boat as me. I thought it would be hard with the, my very first time out with, the, with, the, with a survivor. And uh, Ashley, you know, me trying to talk to her, help her, like they do all the talking, but just being there, it seemed to help me. I didn't have anyone. And now the street, I did have people.